Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. Well, you can see I have finished shaping all five of my loops of lace and I have them zigzagged on. Um, I did not zigzag along the outer edge uh, because what I'm gonna do after I finish the embroidery, I'm gonna come along and I'm gonna zigzag entredo um, to this outer edge so that I have a nice base um, to sew my gathered lace um, along the edge of the collar. Let me put the entredo back out of the way. Okay, now as you can see, I have begun to do my hand embroidery. Um, let me see if you can kind of get a little close up of that. Um, it's a real simple embroidery. It simply has, um, I think there's a little piece of thread right there. Um, some lazy daisy loops and some um, French knots. So that's a real simple embroidery. Uh, just so that you know, the embroidery design that I'm using actually comes out of this pattern. Let me see if I can zoom out for a minute. Um, it's by Creations by Mishi, number 141. And inside the pattern, um, it has four little embroidery designs, and I'm using this little round one. Um, if you have the pattern and you need to see a better detail um, of the design in order to trace it. Now, I traced it with a friction erasable pen. Okay, so my blue water-soluble lines, um, I made sure to put them where I'm going to be cutting the Batiste away except I did trace around the neck. Um, but I, am, I traced the little embroidery design inside of each of the five loops. So, like I said, I've done one, and let me show you on the back. Um, I did my red embroidery with a single piece of floss, and I went all the way around the circle, but my little green leaves that are in between um, I did not carry the thread. I did them and tied them off individually. Okay, so this is a short video because I've got one, two, three, four more little bits of embroidery to do, and that's going to take me a little bit of time. But in the next video, we'll work on shaping the entredo um, to go um, around the outside edge. Thank you.